one thing to keep in mind before we enable the firewall is if we enable the firewall and we don't have a rule to allow our access into the proxmox host we're going to lose connection and then we're going to have to go back over to the machine and, and close out the firewall so we can get access again so before we even touch anything i'm going to recommend that we come over to add it's going to be in and then it's going to be whatever your management interface is going to be so for me it's going to be vmbr zero most likely it's going to be yours too but if you change it you'll know we're going to come to tcp and the destination port for Proxmox is going to be the web portal, which is 8006. We want to enable this rule. And if we want to specify from a certain host, we could do that here. If you want to let everything in, we could just leave it like that. And I'm going to click add. So what this rule is going to do is it's going to allow us access into the web portal, even if we apply some other rule that might end up blocking us. So when we do turn the firewall on, at least we won't lose access and have to go onto the physical machine again to get back into the web console or SSH or anything else. So now that we have this rule in place, what we're gonna do is come over to the options underneath firewall and mine's already enabled, but yours will say no. And then you could just check this box off and now it's gonna turn the firewall on. Now, before you turn the firewall on, please make sure that you have this rule to allow you at least over 8006 in, where you're not going to be able to get into the web portal anymore. And you're going to have to go into the physical box and have to turn off the firewall and then you get access again and redo all of this.